United taking on Brighton at Old Trafford as the opening game. McTominay is named as the captain alongside Fred in midfield. Really strong, but it's a rotated lineup, so we have to be cautious of that. As well as the full backs of Brighton, they're pushed quite wide, so we have to be careful of those crosses coming in. Specifically because we're not playing our number one defenders, so you'd expect them to have the ball at some point. Opening 10 minutes, Greenwood up against Clark, cuts inside, here's Palistri, great chance, Palistri! Oh! Pochettino knows that was a chance, the Uruguayan, oh he put his laces through it. Ihataran spins away from Clark, Ihataran. He's tricky once he gets going. Into James. James crosses. Greenwood brings it down and Brighton can get it away. Oh, and Delo with the interception. And a great back heel. It's Fred. Set up Ihatara and surely. Oh, and a kick save from Ryan. Half an hour played. McTominay, Fred, Greenwood. Greenwood, Ihatara and surely now. Oh, off the post. Oh, it's going to be one of them games, I think. James into Greenwood tackled McTominay back to Greenwood surely now Mason Greenwood surely now oh and Ryan saves again into Greenwood back heel Ihataran United with a chance oh Ryan with another save corner McTominay oh how many chances Brighton trying to bring... Oh, it's a thunderous challenge. Give over, referee. That was a great tackle. Maguire is moving to Juventus. 65 million, I believe. It's not a rumour. That's definitely confirmed. I cannot believe we're not 1-0 up here. Delo. Interchange Delo. Back to Greenwood. Greenwood back to Delo. Surely now. Someone get in the back post. And there it is. Oh, hooked away. And now Greenwood, great control, there it is, Mason Greenwood. Finally, and the euphoria around Old Trafford, Mason Greenwood, a frustrating afternoon. And finally Ryan is beaten in the goal. And look at that. Brighton bring it forward. Sliding tackle by Twanzabi and that'll do it. Whew. Finally, we did get the goal. It's only one goal on a 1-0 win over Brighton in the Premier League. On to the next game. So United switch their attention to the Champions League match day six with the top spot already secure. Pochettino goes with the rotated lineup. Kovar in goal, McNally and Gale as fullbacks. Uh, Marini and Fosimenta in the centre-back position, Garner and Bidawi in the middle, Traore and Palistri on the wings with Mata in behind Ahmad Diallo as the main striker. A little bit inexperienced, so we're just basically looking to give these guys some match day experience. Back to Olmo! Oh, that was close. Don't think Kovar already got there. Danny Olmo with the shot. Ahmad Diallo. Into Ghana. Into Traore. <laughs> wow. That was pretty bad. Oh, we're, we're going to see a replay of this. Oh. Composure, lad. Composure. Wang. To Olmo. Causing us problems down this right hand side. Marini slides in but misses. And here's Wang. He's got down the right hand side. Crosses it in. Neres! What a finish that is. McNally didn't get close enough to Neres. And David Neres. He slides in as you can see there. But he'd already made the connection. And Kovar's got no chance there. It's a superb finish. United a goal down in Germany. Just approaching the half time, here's Palistri. He drags it wide. Tries to take on Luke Shaw. Yes, Luke Shaw. 
Munich going to Leipzig as part of the Conrad Leimer deal. Matter! Oh, he's playing in Badawi! Great chance for the equaliser! Oh, he had to steady himself, and Galashi came out to make the save. And now Leipzig counter. Aurier. He's clear down this right hand side. Danger here for United. Oh, and crossed in, and a, a scuff clearance from Twen Zabi as United hurry it clear. Hansen for United. The youngster crosses. It's Matter. Tries to bring it down. Matter. Oh, it's found Palistri. Oh, and Galashi pushes it away. That was probably United's best chance. Wonderful patience from Mata to set it up and Galashi just two hands to it. Time running out for United as Leipzig come forward and Kunku and he's trying to get away from Twenzebi. Aurier spins the defender. Aurier across comes Twenzebi. Maybe time for United. One last attack. Ghana into Police Street. He's got the legs. Gets away from Adams. Palistri looking to play it forward. And that's full time. United's brave attempt here with the youngsters. They did fight hard but it wasn't enough. And they go down here in Germany by a goal to nil. To David Neres' volley in the first half. I'm sure the loss is, means more value though in terms of the players that got the match day experience, it's more important to them. On to the next game. So the match against Burnley finished 1-1. And uh, usually when I finish a game from recording, I'll press square to save the gameplay footage. Um, I actually ended up pressing triangle, so I actually missed and cropped out the majority of the footage. You'll see here Goodmanson puts his penalty wide at the end of the game. It could have been 2-1. But as it stands, United ended up drawing this game. Anthony Martial with the equalising goal to rescue United. Um, so this is basically just the closing moments of the game. Um, as a result, obviously in this episode, we're going to be showing you the extra game, which is the Carabao Cup against Southampton. Um, and obviously that's probably going to be a much better game anyway. So uh, there you can see 1-1 uh, full-time and we move on to the uh, Carabao Cup quarter-final. And uh, this is a competition we got knocked out in last year. So we're looking to try and win this one. The lineup that we have today is very similar to the one that played against Brighton at the beginning of this episode. I haven't actually seen much of the first team in this episode simply because we have all these surplus games. And uh, so Pochettino using that as a, a chance to rest up the players. And we're around the December mark. So, I mean, you want to sort of like make sure that players get enough games we should have enough in us here to beat Southampton even though it is a rotated side and United start Fred spins away from Botius Mata McTominay is Cavani into Mata back to Fred United popping this around James into Fred, this is wonderful stuff. Back to Greenwood, and now on to Cavani. Oh, I thought for sure he'd scored. James wide on the left. Half an hour played, James cuts inside Schindler. Here comes James. Knocks it up, Cavani, oh, and it's blocked. Somehow they got it away. Oh, and James goes down, and the United fans asking for a penalty. Oh, it's a poor touch from Twenzebi. And Adams is in. On to Henderson. Slides out. Oh. And Adams has put it in against the runner play. That's unbelievable. He should have had a goal at one end. And Che Adams has scored here. A lucky deflection off Henderson who came out to save it. United have got to pick themselves up. Ralph Hassan Huttle is happy with that. Cavani, Mata, Fred, into Mata, and now Cavani holds off Schindler, oh, beat Mignolet but couldn't get the ball in the corner, 
and at half time we're actually losing to Southampton maybe we've underestimated them maybe we'll crash out again just doesn't seem to be a competition we can win McTominay plays through Greenwood and a chance for Mason Greenwood oh and Mignolet pushes it away Cavani recovers the ball James oh that's a poor pass Southampton will be happy to just take what they can get here Adams knocks it down for Ings oh and a wonderful sliding challenge from Twenzebe and here's the substitution Mohamed Ihataran coming on for Cavani who has missed a few chances today Schindler will take it send it long not long enough and Fred gets his head to the ball Matter, McTominay McTominay Greenwood looks for it Greenwood steps inside Mason Greenwood into Juan Mata and there's the equaliser come on Mercurial Mata does it again usually the provider but this time the goal scorer and Mignolet was cruelly exposed at the back that's a great finish usually caresses the ball but laces through it Southampton pushing for the second United looking to break out here it's McTominay and he sends it wide it's Daniel James less than a minute to go Daniel James all he's got to do is square it to Iataran come on there's the winner Mo Iataran off the bench and it's 2-1 at the very brink of the game coming to a close Head to the edge of the six yard box Danny James does the right thing there is the full time whistle wow just like the Brighton game they were ran close there and they even scored on us Southampton they'll feel a bit unlucky not to have got something and maybe knocked United out today maybe could have done on a different day but thankfully we had enough in us let me know in the comments what you think guys but the final score there is 2-1 as we advance to the next round. So I'll just run through the quarter-finals results from the Carabao Cup. We're getting to the nitty-gritty. Derby are eliminated 4-2 by Wolves. And Newcastle lost 3-1 to Leicester City. They make it through to the semis. Liverpool and Manchester City ended up drawing 1-1. But Liverpool won 5-4 on pens. And then uh, we've just seen there, uh, United beat Southampton 2-1, came back from a goal down. And it's going to be Wolves, Leicester, Liverpool and Manchester United that feature in the semis. And I believe, I'm pretty sure that we ended up drawing against Leicester. So the other game will be Wolves against Liverpool. Alright lads, that's the end of today's episode. I hope you enjoyed watching. Thank you so much for your support. If you have enjoyed it and have not yet subscribed please consider doing so as i'm close to 200 subscribers and that would help me out a big deal i'm going to be back in a couple of days with episode 34 until then this is our lad for set play gaming i'll see you guys soon Bye bye